we're going to open up an existing work instruction here. You can see the way they're numbered here. Whatever you call the uh, processes here, in my example, work instruction demo, is followed by a dash, TP, which means timer pro is maintaining it, and then underscore, and then a number, a three-digit number. It starts with 001 and goes up from there, which means in theory you can go to 999 different revisions of your process. So if I select the latest one here, revision 5, and I click on the open, it will bring it up here. Now we've already got uh, some work instructions defined for this. And you can see it by clicking on any uh, particular activity chip. You just double click. It's going to find the exact process step that you clicked on. So for instance, in my example here, I clicked on the stack parts, removed two moldy parts. It took me into the stack parts sheet and it found the uh, two, removed two moldy parts, which is this guy right here. Now, uh, there is a link uh, happening between the process that you see here and the uh, work instructions here. And you can see that link actually if you come over here, hover over any of the activities and you'll see a number in there. This is a unique number, it's assigned to every single uh, activity chip that is created in Timer Pro. And that's how we know where everything is at any point in time inside the, uh, the work instructions. Now you'll see here how they're named here. Uh, my work instruction name in Excel is work instruction demo dash TP underscore 005, which happens to be exactly the same as you have here. Work instruction demo dash TP underscore 005. Uh, the difference obviously is that this one is in Excel and this one is actually inside the Timer Pro itself here. So you'll see how this is manipulated as we go through the different uh, videos in this section.